Ana Cuba, Ada González Curbelo. Les hemos ofrecido un paisaje informativo desde Cuba en las últimas 24 horas. Con noticias culturales recibimos en 24 horas en el mundo a Dalia Reyes Pereira. Sí, saludos desde el centro de la isla para las amigas y amigos de Radio Habana Cuba. por meses muy complejos, pero donde no faltaron las iniciativas y los deseos de disfrutar con alegría y optimismo, los viaclareños se despidieron del verano con todo 2022, con opciones para todas las edades. Fue precisamente la fiesta final de este periodo de estival en la comunidad El Marañón, del municipio de Santo Domingo, un sitio en condiciones... Russian President Vladimir Putin assured participants in the South Eastern Economic Forum on Monday that the unipolar model is supposed to be completely replaced by the new multipolar world order. The President said in, in a review of the Kremlin website, quote, the absolute unipolar model is being replaced by a new world order based on the fundamental principles of justice and equality in the recognition of the right of each state and nation to follow its own sovereign path of de de development. Like Mr. Putin highlighted Moscow's satisfaction in the development of bilateral ties with the countries of the Asia-Pacific region, as well as cooperation with the Eurasian Economic Union, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, and the BRICS countries of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Likewise, he added that the links with the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation and the Association of Southeastern Asian Nations are growing and consolidating, since the Eurasia Code is ready to continue working with all interested partners in order to improve regional interaction on various frontiers. In Putin's opinion, the Eastern Economic Forum enjoys high international authority, contributes significantly to the strengthening of trade ties, and attracts investment flows and technological innovations, as well as further utilization of rich economic and social potential of the Russian Far East. The seventh edition of the Eastern Economic Forum will take place in the Russian city of Vladivostok from September the 5th to the 8th next. Contrary to U.S. claims, Washington's hostile Cuba policy amounts to a fierce economic, trade, and financial blockade. It is impossible to say that the measures taken in the policy conducted by the U.S. towards Cuba is not an economic blockade in the literal sense of the world. Carlos Fernandez de Cosío, Director General of the U.S. desk at Cuba's Ministry for Foreign Affairs. It is not only the fact that It prohibits U.S. companies from trading with Cuba and the possibility of exports to Cuba or imports from Cuba. It doesn't only prevent Cuba from carrying out financial transactions with the United States or using U.S. dollars.